Hello, and welcome to the Stella Life Innovator Series. Today, we're going to be featuring Dr. Richard Myron. Now, Dr. Myron is a postdoctoral researcher in the Department of Periodontology at Nova Southeastern University in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. He completed his undergraduate and master's degrees at the University of Western Ontario and his DDS degree at the University of Laval in Canada. He then went on to earn his PhD in cell and molecular biology at the University of Bern in Switzerland. He's a widely respected researcher and educator and has been given numerous awards through the years for his work. Today, he's going to be sharing information with us from studies he's done with oral rinses at the University of Bern. We are honored to feature Dr. Richard Myron. Okay, this week we're going to speak on Stella Life, and this is a new oral homeopathic rinse. And I want to talk about papers that were done many years ago in Bern, Switzerland on different oral rinses that we utilize commonly in dentistry. And I want to focus specifically on this more natural product and how it can be utilized for um, oral healthcare and post-surgery rinses. One thing that we learned from these studies is that the viability of cells that were exposed to different products here, H2O2, uh, chlorhexidine, hypochloric acid, etc., was very, very damaging for cells. So when we actually look at chlorhexidine, for instance, within a few seconds, a lot of these cells were actually being destroyed. And by one minute, 40% of our cells were remaining alive. Okay, so they were actually quite destructive when compared to just standard PBS rinses. With Stella Life, it was a more natural product. And of course, one of the advantages of going more natural is the fact that it may not destroy as many cells. So we had done some studies uh, comparing Stella Life to chlorhexidine. And one of the biggest differences here were after 10 seconds and one minute rinsing with Stella Life uh, versus chlorhexidine, you start to see a lot of cell destruction here shown in red with the chlorhexidine group. And so when you look at the cell viability with both these groups, if you use 0.1% of the product of each one, versus 1%, everything's staying alive. But when you start to get to 10%, now all of a sudden the cell life is still alive. The chlorhexidine within a minute, like I said, 40% of the cells are dead. Within 10 minutes, everything's dead. Okay, always remember that chlorhexidine is quite harmful actually to fibroblast. And so when we look at the relative cell numbers and how many cells are alive with the two different products here, cell life is able to maintain viability of the cells, whereas chlorhexidine was really destructive here. Um, when we looked at the relative number over time, by three days, like I said, there was no cells that were alive in the chlorhexidine group. Whereas with the Stella Life, the more natural product, it was able to maintain uh, cell viability here. We've done a number of studies now looking at the ability for collagen secretion in the different groups and in, of course PDGF. This is both being improved with the Stella Life product, whereas with chlorhexidine, it's being significantly reduced. And the big one here is the inflammation that's being caused with chlorhexidine. And I think a lot of clinicians forget that when they use chlorhexidine, always remember that it's also harmful to fibroblast. And these studies here very clearly show the large increase in inflammatory markers. In some countries, a lot of people don't know this in North America, some countries have actually banned the use of chlorhexidine in their countries for dental procedures. Because when they get exposed to bone cells or you rinse uh, extraction sites with chlorhexidine, it's very, very harmful to cells and it's very, um, it causes apoptosis. So in those cases there, people have been looking for solutions. Cell life is a material that's from United States, of course. We were very interested to test it for the first time. And we found here that it led to quite uh, good results here. I haven't done any experiments looking at the other end of the spectrum to see how much it kills bacteria, etc. But from an actual biocompatibility point of view, it's very good with uh, cells from the oral cavity. So we found in conclusion here, Stella Life was one of the first antiseptic solutions that are used to maintain cell viability. Um, it's also used to increase over tenfold when compared to, to um, chlorhexidine uh, cell viability. And it's going to improve collagen and PDGF, whereas there's no real significant impact on inflammation when compared to chlorhexidine. So again, it's probably something that's uh, going to gain a lot more momentum in the coming years. 
We've done one simple study here. There has been some nice clinical studies that have been done. If you've never heard of cell life, have a look at it. Um, read more about it because it could be one of these types of oral rinses that might change your practice. So thank everybody for joining this week and I look forward to seeing everybody next week. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Myron. We really appreciate Dr. Myron's compelling research demonstrating the difference between chlorhexidine and Stella Life, and we invite you to see the difference for yourself. We promise you better clinical results, and we're happy to get some complimentary product to you to try. Wishing you the best from all of us at Stella Life. See you next time.